Hello, my name is Manar Sariya Weiss and I am the regional coordinator for the project Green Library. Today we are here at Sensila Center and we will uh, talk with the, one of the co-founders, Mr. Tar Ad uh, architecture Tarek Nassar, about the center and what it has to offer. Tarek. Thanks, Manar. First, uh, welcome here. Uh, my name is Tariq Nassar, I'm an architect and urban planner and uh, we are here in Sinsila. Sinsila in Arabic it means the, the stones when you build agricultural terrace on, 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 in mountains. This is what does it mean really in terms of in Arabic. And uh, uh, maybe I will start with the story of Sinsila because uh, Sinsila we are located in East Jerusalem uh, on the second floor of the only public library in East Jerusalem and uh, the story of Sinsila started because there is a huge lack of public open spaces in any green elements in East Jerusalem so it's and, 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 and doing a planning in East Jerusalem it's not easy so it's not really impossible it's almost impossible to find those locations and to to have more barks but roofs are the future and roofs it can be really a solution uh, a temporary solution to fill this gap of the lack of public open spaces and this is how Sinsila started and I have to add to add something here very important that we started with economic project for women in order to enhance and to 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 give this kind of inspiration for women to start using the roofs so we started with beehives in a course with Yossi Oud is the bees expert and with those 15 women to become a beekeeper in East Jerusalem from there we we got the whole story and the journey of Sinsila we started with beehives then uh, another uh, roof gardening a permaculture course uh, you have urban farming course, part of it, it was how to create red worms, like a worms compost and those kind of fertilizers that feeds all the hydroponic and aquaponic system that we have. So, this is the, uh, here we are in, in the bee educational, uh, the beehives educational terrace and uh, now we will uh, maybe go, you want to go inside yeah, and see Yeah, sure, and explore uh, some of your projects. Yeah. Uh, Manar, this is Hanan, uh, she's going to introduce herself more, but she's now uh, a full-time employee working with us in Sinsila, and she's in front of a, an interactive wall gallery, she maybe will explain to you about it. Thank you, Tara. Welcome. Hello, Hanan, Hello, nice Hanan. Uh, to be here. Yes. Can you please tell me a little bit about yourself and how did you get engaged with Sinsila? Yes, uh, I'm Hanan Amasha. I graduated two months ago from Pirzat University and I studied uh, architecture and urban design. Um, I'm here as a project coordinator in Sinsila. Okay. How did you hear about Sinsila? Uh, I joined uh, a lecture that Tarek gave in a youth center in East Jerusalem. He talked about Sinsila, so I liked the concept and I knew that uh, I want to be a volunteer. So I started as a volunteer in Sinsila and it ended up that I'm an employee. What does Sinsila mean to you? Yes, um, I'm here because I believe in the mission of Sinsila and what it's doing and the impact that Sinsila has in my community in East Jerusalem. Can you tell us a bit about the project that we see over here behind you? Yes, it's an uh, exhibition. It's Let's Find Nature in East Jerusalem. It's a project from and for the community. So we ask people in East Jerusalem to take pictures about what they consider the nature is and where they can um, spend time in the nature in East Jerusalem. So they took the pictures and we collected them and we made an exhibition. Uh, the aim is to bring the attention of people like to that we have uh, uh, natural open spaces in East Jerusalem that they can care about it and spend time in. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, another um, thing that Sinsila does is also having uh, volunteers over here that help the center to be the amazing center that it is and a place that is so much needed. Um, Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Malak Dweik. I am volunteering here. Uh, I just graduated from uh, Birzeit University in uh, Social Science and French. Uh, I am here because I love the center. Um, 
I love that I uh, have uh, a place where I can sit, read, uh, draw, uh, learning a lot of things, um, creativity, uh, activity like uh, I love yoga, um, uh, leading a yoga session for women. Uh, and I hope that there is a lot of symptoms like Sincila in Jerusalem and everywhere. Thank you. Thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you. Uh, Tara, can you tell us about this uh, Sincila Women Cooperative that I see a lot of tasty food over there? Uh, absolutely. We do have a lot of products actually here. Uh, after working with the woman uh, for almost two years, like uh, through those courses, we, we built Sincila. We end up uh, that we need to have a kind of a woman cooperative that they can sell products, they can uh, to have a community cafe that they can run. And uh, this is one of the, the products that we're working on right now is to, it's honey the, in a biodynamic method and uh, the woman now they are producing honey and hopefully in the future we will be uh, have a kind of a design product for this and send it all over the world that this is honey from the woman of East Jerusalem. I must say also the tea is very good over here, coming all the way from the plants that you guys have been planting, right? We do have actually, we do have a lot of things that we did with the, with the, with the community here. Uh, one of the system, it's, it's, it's very simple system. So people, they come here, you can see a, a simple system that they can do it, they can put it in their uh, kitchen, uh, you know, like on a very simple table, it's cost around like $15, it's nothing, it's called domestic water culture. And if we go now uh, outside to the big uh, balcony, big terrace, uh, here you can see different systems that was were like built with the community as well. One of them, it was like a green wall that it was installed with the participants. And here it's more like they have, we have like a lot of technology. But one of the technology we installed with the, with the participants, so it fits their balcony, it fits their urban life right now, which is in East Jerusalem, it's a very dense area. Uh, another hydro, uh, another system, it's a normal hydroponic system. It costs around like $80, 80 to $100 plus minus. It's using like a, a, a very uh, local sanitation lines and a pump that goes all the way. Many people, they, they actually, they came to, to Sinsula for, from the last year. They ate a lot of things and it was a really good feeling to see those kind of women and elderly people and even kids when they come here to, to take the tomato and to eat it from the plant. And many people, they miss this, is to have it from the plant and eat it. So people, they come here, you can see that this system, it can fit their small balcony because they don't have land anymore. So what is Sinsela for you? Sinsela, it's a, it's a place of inspiration. It's a place of education, it's a place of employment and uh, empowerment for uh, the community of East Jerusalem. Our really uh, goal is to heal the urban environment of East Jerusalem because many people, they, 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 they lost it, you know, like they, for, they are forgetting about the, the, the climate and the environment. And we are located in the heart of East Jerusalem. We are far away, 450 meters far away from the old city the old city of Jerusalem which we are really in the holy place and people they come here they see that if we are really doing this in East Jerusalem everyone can do it the most challenging place ever believe me and uh, yeah it's it's uh, I, I believe that many many green roofs we will have in East Jerusalem those women and those kids who's living in this boxes of buildings they can go up on the roofs and having fun and they can grow vegetables they can have herbs now we do have everything here so people they come and they see that actually yes it can be done and uh, hopefully we'll have another Sincilla and another Sincilla more and uh, yeah it's a so, uh, so Sincilla is a, is, a, is a green library is a community center is a place where people can come learn about the environment and how to heal their not only urban space and contribute a bit to climate change and uh, the development goal yes you're absolutely right and many people they try to ask me what is really sincere right now it's everything it's a community creativity sustainability empowerment place and it's in the library and the role of the library it's already changed all over the world and we need really to lead this library now in East Jerusalem it's became a, a community center 
uh, creativity space. People, they come to the library, they go up, they see Sinsela, oh wow, and they can read books of, about sustainability and climate change and issues in, in Arabic and English, and sometimes we do have it even in Hebrew. So we, we need to work on this, and we need really to forget about, you know, to go ahead. Yes. Thank you, Tara. Then Sinsela is this amazing place with all the work, the people who work here to bring to a better world. If it can be in East Jerusalem, it can be everywhere and every neighborhood we can have another and another and another Sinsela and another green libraries everywhere. Thank you. <laughs>